I've been going to church ever since I was a kid, and um, after my parents got divorced when I was about 10, we pretty much just stopped going to church, and um, I tried going on my own when I was about 15. Uh, the church band would come pick up us and neighborhood kids and bring us to church, and I even got baptized, but I didn't truly know the meaning of baptism or just having a relationship with God. And and then I met my wife when I was around 20, and we've been together for years. And as the years went on, her spirituality was growing, and just mine wasn't. You know, I just didn't truly understand what a relationship with God was all about. And uh, we started coming to Living Word Church around about the beginning of 2011. I didn't really volunteer at the church. I just pretty much came every Sunday like, you know, a lot of people do. Um, but then, you know, I found out about the Kingdom Man uh, Bible study. And, uh, you know, my wife was like, you know, you should give it a shot. You know, go see it. You might meet some friends. So I joined this uh, Bible study and I met a lot of good people, a lot of good men out there that, you know, I'm not the only one that uh, was lost at one point. You know, I was telling them about, you know, just some of the circumstances I've been going through, some of the uh, impacts that my family's been going through. And they said, you know, you know, you should pray. You should just pray. Like, just, you know, it's not really about what words you choose. It's more about just speaking your heart out and just talking to them. And, and I kind of felt weird about that because, you know, I just didn't understand. And then, you know, the next day, right before I went to work, I parked in the parking lot and I just turned off everything and it was just completely silent and I just start praying and I'm just like you know I want to know you I want to I want to know you I want to feel you I want you know I want to be your servant I want you know I want to be a true Christian a true follower of Jesus I have this you know, horrible language problem you know I'm always cursing every other word I use I've been doing that since for the longest time. I didn't even ask him about that, you know, it's like, you know, help me feel convicted about the words I say. You know, I even read in the Bible that uh, Jesus even told his disciples, it's not what you take in that defiles you, it's what comes out of you that defiles you. And, um, and I said that in my prayer, and then it's like every bad word I spoke, it was like uh, shards of glass. It just started to sting instead of you know, being natural. And then we had a service here and they had a cross on the stage and it said, you know, write, you know, they, everybody took a piece of paper and, you know, write down something that you want, write down your stronghold that you want to just destroy. So I wrote cursing and I went put on the cross and like ever since then, uh, I could just, I, I know how to speak without being negative and it's different because it's like I'm speaking a whole nother language, but actually I'm just talking English again uh, instead of trash. After that Bible series, um, after we completed it, I was just, I wanted more. So um, it's, you know, before I could even ask, I got a phone call from somebody at Living Word asking me to, you know, uh, help to be an usher and open the doors. And, you know, and that's a great feeling. You know, it's a great feeling to just you know, no matter what it is you're doing, you're helping out in some way. I think every little thing matters. Every little thing counts. And I'm just glad to be a part of it, finally. <laughs> After so many years, you know, I'm glad to be a part of this church and I'm glad to meet everybody here and everybody in our life group. You know, it's, um, it's a wonderful feeling.